Hello, everyone. I'm Taha Yassir from School of Sociology at University College Dublin, Ireland. Today, I'm going to talk about collaboration. We are always told that collaboration and teamwork is a good thing and that increases chances of success. If you search such terms on Google, you will find thousands of images like this one, uh, which shows um, groups of colleagues who uh, seem to be very happy working uh, together and just smiling like there is no tomorrow. In complex system terms, we are um, familiar with concepts such as uh, collective intelligence and wisdom of the crowds, where the collective emergent outcome of a system is better and is more accurate than uh, the best of the individuals in the system. Theoretical work predicts higher accuracy and higher efficiency for groups compared to individuals, but also there are theories which predict um, biases in collective decision making, as well as a uh, social loafing, where individuals delegate the task to others and they think that because there are other people in the group taking care of the task, I don't need to work too much. Um, in pop culture, we have proverbs and sayings such as uh, two heads are better than one, which suggests collaboration is good. But at the same time, we have uh, things like too many cooks spoil their broth. Here I have an image of too many cooks and none of them looks happy and no one smiles. I think the broth is spoiled in this case. Uh, we wanted to have an experimental uh, approach to this question and uh, we turned to a real world citizen science project. Uh, in this citizen science project, uh, contributors have to categorize images that are automatically taken from a national park in Mozambique called Korongoza and uh, determine if the image shows an animal, what type of animal, and what does the animal is doing, and so on. This is not an easy task. The animals look very similar, and a non-expert cannot distinguish them easily. However, after a few trials and after a few minutes, you start learning uh, the differences between animals, and then you can uh, more accurately categorize these images. We split the individuals into two groups. Uh, one group were trained on a very specific set of images of a specific set of animals, and we used the same set in the testing stage, but the other group were trained on a more generic uh, set of animals, and we expected them not to perform as well as the other group when they uh, arrived to do the testing stage because they are not specialized on the type of animals that are more common in the testing set. Well, first of all, this is uh, what we get from the experiment, actually, we see that people who were trained in a targeted set, and from now on, we call them experts, perform well, their performance imp increases, and they improve uh, all the way towards the end of the experiment. Whereas the generally trained individuals, or we call them non-experts, from now on, um, show a massive decline when they start the uh, testing stage. Even though they recover a little bit, they never uh, show the same performance as the expert group. Now the question is that what if I build groups of two individuals uh, with different combinations of expertise level? For example, two experts working together, two non-experts, and one expert, one non-expert. Well, here we compare the groups with individual experts, and we see that the individual expert outperforms a, a group of two experts and a group of one expert, one non-expert which is quite interesting. That means that having another expert helping you, if you are an expert, does not increase the efficiency, which is the total number of correct categorizations per minute. When you look at the non-expert individual, the non-expert solo, even there you see that an additional expert or an additional non-expert does not increase the efficiency. When you look at the accuracy, which is just the number of correct answers, regardless of time, uh, here we see the same pattern for the expert, uh, but in the non-expert group, we see that adding the extra expert person increases the accuracy, even though the overall efficiency has not been increased because they uh, work at a lower rate. Uh, the additional expert slows down the non-expert. So if I want to summarize, it turns out that collaboration might have been a little bit overrated, particularly if someone is an expert in a complex task, they probably are better off working on their own. Well, ironically, this was a project that I conducted in collaboration with two of my colleagues, uh, Vincent Straub and Milena Svetskova, and uh, there is a preprint of the work available uh, publicly. Thank you very much.